Hey everybody, this is your host Matt Jin for the fourth take, I hope. Um, we're on episode 11, hoping to survive this nasty war with Mawa. Uh, otherwise, I am joined by Arumba, Flying MacGuffin, Kelvin, Marbazir, and Shinner. Hi. I was going to say, we're hoping to survive, actually, this recording session, because it seems to be yeah. falling apart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously, this, this good. one episode, gone. <laughs> All right, well. And we're off. I agree. So I raised our army maintenance a bit. Actually, we should probably just raise it to 100%. Hey, cool. Oh, yeah, that was an error. Not bad. Free, free, free. Worse than our current one, but everyone else seems to have a really crappy leader or king. Anyway, yeah. I raised our army maintenance to 100%. Yeah, I fidgeted it, so it should be, it should work. We are losing what... a little bit of money, but I'd rather not lose territory. We should be gaining money once we finish the core creation and convert culture. I'm going to form the coalition, just in case that I... Oh, and on. yeah, war. I'm going to pause for a moment. Okay, guys, we have a war. I have to pause for a moment. Yeah, you didn't you guys form the coalition? Uh, I don't know. No. You idiots. We, I'm not we in charge of the You guys didn't do it. You guys didn't join the coalition. You're on your own. I, well, I'm, I'm not the one in charge of diplomacy. I was just asking if we were going to do that, because I thought it had been established that it wasn't going to help. Right, well... It would put us in a two-front war against Orissa, which I said would be fine. We can unpause, I think. You did said the army maintenance to 100, right? So we should be okay. Well, we uh -huh. won't be okay, but I mean, our army is okay. I'm unpausing. Sounds good. So this will be fun. If we get super lucky, then... Well, we'll see. Also, hold on. I'm going to improve our relations with Tibet. We should okay. have done that earlier, I guess. I wasn't really prioritizing them. Because they might declare war on us, they are allied with Kashar. Yeah, they are at war with... Well, no, they're at war with somebody else. Yeah, we're not at war with them yet, but they might declare war on us. They, they have 60 days to join. Yep. Interesting, the, no one joined this war yet. That's kind of good for us. Not yet. It, but if we get 10% war score, we could sign a peace deal. I'm... Watching Orisa like a hawk right now. Yeah, Orisa joined, but if we get lucky with this siege, we might be able to finish this. But it will be very, very close. We need to get super lucky with this siege right now. Mm -hmm. Tibet is so far not joined. Yeah. If we finish the siege here, I'm just going to... We should sign peace without like sieging the other province. Right. Absolutely. Because we'd be pushing our luck a little bit too much. So, fingers crossed. Yeah, they are going to blockade our port. But we should get a lot of war score for getting one province. They are the war leader and we will take 50% of their territory. Yep. Okay, Tibet I don't think can join now. Yeah, but let's just keep improving our relations with Tibet. They are our neighbor. Yeah, Orisa is coming. We need to get super lucky with this now. If we if they attack us here, they will get river crossing, but they might not be able to arrive here. We need to get lucky now. Holy crap, 18 regiments. Yep. We got our if we finish this siege, I'm going to pause the game instantly. Yeah, yeah. 14 days. Ooh. Yeah. Cross our fingers. Come on, 14%. Yeah, they are moving east now. Yep. Four days, three days, two, one. Yes! Nice, pause. All right. Sorry, guys, we had to pause for a moment. Oh, we didn't even get a lot it's of It's not another runtime error, right? No, no, we're fine. I'm just Yay! negotiating <laughs> a potential deal. They got a peace deal. Every time Marbazir pauses, I, I, I just assume it's a runtime error. Marbazir can't pause if he has a runtime error, though. It is true. 
Hold on, guys. I, I has wrong time error. <laughs> we got lucky annexing one or like finishing a siege in one province, but it only gave us 1% war score, it's even though we took 50% of the war leader's territory. Yeah, Is you need to right? get 100% of the war leader's territory. Because they have allies in this war who have a lot more land that you have not yet seized, so you got to go for their capital. You got to finish them off. Yeah, if you take both provinces, that's 100% automatic. Yeah, no, I can see it. We got 6.50 for this province, but we got minus 8 because our ports are blockaded by Orisa. Yes, but if you take their capital, you'll have 100% in the war. Yep, yeah, we won't 100. take their capital because we got 19 regiments heading for us, and we only got 10. Can you get ac military access from Sean by any chance? Unlikely, but... Mm, unlikely. Yeah. Can you take a bunch of loans and pay them off? But what yeah. are we going to do with the loans? We can't recruit more armies because the Orisa army is about to attack us. Yeah, uh, the loans you use to pay them in peace deal so they don't take all of your but, land. But you can't negotiate without 10%? Uh, yes, you can. You can surrender. You can surrender. Okay. Surrender and just pay them the biggest stack of gold you can get. Well, yeah, you can but still if... pay them without having the money. Yeah, it's too really early in the war. They may not take it. Uh, they may want to continue the war for a little bit. Actually, yes, we can end this war right now. Hold on. Good. See, I told you. Yeah, take that. And we don't even have to concede defeat. Kachar will accept a white piece just because half the territory is occupied. Bengal will pay 24, 27 gold. So, and yeah, okay, In that case, I'm going I to send this over. Defeat. Like, just keep the money, concede defeat. Money at this point for you is more worthwhile than prestige. Done. I'm going to unpause. Yay! Good job, Marbazir. Well, we got kind of lucky, I suppose. Fourteen mm. percent. <laughs> so does that mean we have a? Does that mean we have a new truce? Yes. Yes, it does. Okay. Um... So now we have a truce with Orisa until September fourteen seventy six. I'm and going to lower our army maintenance. Of course. Um, I'm going to... I lowered it to under the last letter in army maintenance. Under the E. Okay. So... So we don't have a truce with uh, Tibet anymore. Or Nepal. Yeah, we could go after Nepal. They're in a coalition against us. They are allied with Kashar, but Kashar have a truce with us now, so they won't exactly. join. It should be safe attacking Nepal. Who's in the coalition with them, though? Uh, no one. If you go to, like, our own yeah, uh, I see it. diplomacy... I see it. Oh, great. Another word? Seriously? Oh, Nepal declare war on us? Yes! <laughs> uh, sorry, I had to pause again. I, we got another war. Just raising army maintenance. Okay, let me do it okay. before you... Before you unpause. Okay, I'm unpausing once this... Okay, no, I can unpause right now. Okay, go. I'm staying here to, like, raise our morale first. Yes, absolutely. But I, that makes no sense. Why did they declare war on us? Uh, because you're stupid? I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. The I aggression. Guess the, the because the AI... Makes yeah. the AI more aggressive than it should be. Yeah. Because they're leaving... Or no, they're... Yeah, they're leaving again. Yeah. That makes no sense. Maybe the AI thought that their allies will join the war? Even though we have a truce with their allies. I don't know, it makes no sense. They're, Maybe they yeah. didn't see our army? <laughs> well, they're, you know, they're at war with Congre now too, so they have to worry about that. But I'm not sure how all-knowing the AI is. I don't think they can see into the Bog of War. But on the other hand, the AI has access to Ledger, and you can see how big someone's army is through the Ledger. You don't have to, like, physically see it on the map. Right, that's true. Well, but anyway, that's good for us, because we can annex entire Nepal. What are you doing? What are you doing, uh, Congra? No, 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 not you. I'm looking at Congra, oh, and they're, okay. they're moving like idiots. If they but stayed yeah, now there... we can annex entire Nepal. Yeah. If, if they stayed there, then they would have been fine. We still need to keep an eye on John Poor, though. Uh, yes, I know. I'm keeping... They have a truce with a lot of neighbors. So, but... our only two neighbors... Oh, actually, no, no. Jhanpur is at war with Jangladesh. Jhanpur is at war with Jangladesh. 
so I'm not yeah, worried about them right but now. But we don't have a truth with Shan either, and they are pretty damn big. We should look around for any potential alliances with someone. I have no idea of who, but I don't know. Anyone. <laughs> um... Gondwana, but they're not very big. They're not. I, they're not going to. Oh, guess they're a vassal. They're a vassal. Kangra. They're a vassal. Uh, hmm. Should we move to Kangra before the siege is done? We will lose war score if they finish that siege. Yeah, but if we siege both of their provinces, we'll win anyway. Yeah, but we lose war score if they finish that siege. I'll just move there to beat their army. Okay. Well, the problem is, is that everybody who's Hindu is an asshole and hates us. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Everybody else is either a vassal, Buddhist, or Muslim. Yeah. And all of those guys hate us. Oh, hey, look, the AI is actually coordinating with us, and their hey, army is moving in on 1st May. Awesome. Yeah, I've never really quite gotten the trick of coordinating that closely. I, I think they made it better in the patch. Yeah. Oh, wow. We might actually lose this fight? Looks like we... Wow, their might. morale is massive. Okay, we might actually lose this fight right now. Uh, Not that's... good. That's bullshit. Yeah, that's pretty bad. We had 10 regiments and they had 5. Uh, we had 12. Because of, or more than that, because of Nepal's or uh, yeah. Congress. So that was pretty bad. And we still got more armies. I guess we should take a loan and recruit more. I don't know. I will recruit one in regular infantry. Like from our own uh, manpower. Yeah, we got some manpower back. They will probably finish that siege. We should have stayed in Kathmandu, I guess. But I, I didn't think we were going to lose with an yeah, advantage I, like that. I figured if we just sieged both of their provinces, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Mm, I don't think we would have had 100%. No, but they would have had to attack us. Yeah, I guess. Oh, well, it happens. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about it. But we still have an advantage. At least at this point. Well, things are still looking up, at least. If no one declares war on us, we should be in a good shape. Yeah, I'm our... mostly worried about John Poor and partially Tibet. Yeah, I'm worried about Tibet. Probably. But we're almost making money. With maximum maintenance. Also, speaking of money, I'm going to convert our three provinces here to our own culture. Yeah, I'll do that. Won't even take too long. Yeah, I got the other two. Yeah, we don't have enough diplomatic points for the third one yet. Well, I got the two furthest away. I'll get the other one when it comes up. And Revolt Risk is still at zero, so that's nice. Yep. Well, oh good. yeah, we still got the harsh treatment effect. Yes. Uh, to extend it alone. Yeah. We got 26 loans. And we got another one, yay! 49 jerks oh what what happened there they oh, accepted our... peace okay yeah so just stay so there so now they will attack us yep probably but <laughs> we should be able to win hopefully 49 power come on we do have a pretty decent leader yep 
Okay, they are moving in. No, they are not. So I'll just stay here. Yeah, I converted the other province. Or started. I recruited another regular infantry from our manpower. Yes. Well, we can afford we are one, more. one regiment over the force limit, but we can just disband one of the mercenaries once this war is done. Yep. Well, our force limit will go up once we take the Oh, ball. yeah, yeah, you're right. Because that's course. Oh, great. Free inflation or one stability. I think that one is obvious. Yeah. Our inflation is pretty massive right now, though. 10%? Yeah, well, what are we going to do about it? Yeah, nothing. That's that's one of the reasons to take the organization ideas, but uh, yeah. we need that uh, that admin power for stuff. Come on, siege progress. Our opinion with Bengal is there. Er, our opinion with Tibet is down to minus twenty-five, so they're because our expressive, we, aggressive expansion is going down. Maybe we should unflag some of our rivals. We got John Poor, Malwa, and Orisa flagged. Yeah. Might be a good idea unflagging it. I'm not sure if that will really affect AI decisions all that much. Uh, it does, but I don't know how much. Okay. We could flag... Nepal before we engage their army. That will give us prestige at the cost of diplomatic Still. power because we need to pay some diplomatic power to flag them as rivals. I'm gonna remove the rest of them, the rest of the rivals. Let's see if that helps us out any. You want me to flag Tibet? Uh, no, Nepal. Nepal. So that we get extra prestige for beating this army right here. I'm not sure if it's worth 10 diplomatic power, but we're at minus 27 prestige. I did it. And we have a mission to get prestige. I did it. Alright, Just... I'm moving in. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Our leader is pretty damn good, so we should really be able to win this engagement. I shouldn't get a river crossing this time. I think we got a river yeah, crossing. Yeah, I don't for even see a river here, so... I think that was one of the reasons we were doing bad with Garwal. Mm, yeah, I think crossing. so. Oh, God. Well, at least it's getting pretty even. Cat oh. Minus three, again. Where is the river here? I just don't see one. We get oh, a bad it's minus roll. three for terrain, not river. Did we get a bad roll? Mm, no, our roll was win. decent. We're getting minus three for terrain. Yeah, we yeah. got a good roll now. Mountains. Oh. No, we lost. Great. I guess I'll just recruit more. We can win this, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I'm not worried about it. I'm recruit. I'm recruiting two more uh, bionis for our manpower, not uh, like mercenaries. Um, they are actually following us, I can see that. Yeah, they're probably just going to try to siege the province back. I think that's what they're doing. Yeah. I can't move away yet. But I'll do it just in case, once oh. I can. No, they are moving down. And I can't move because we're shattered. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to lose that army, I think. Oh. Now I can move. Maybe we should stay here? Maybe. Too late. Yeah, this is not great. We could always sign peace with them and take one province and the other one later. Do you want to do that? Mm, not yet. Okay. Well, this one is close. Yeah. Come on. Uh, great. Lost. That was annoying. We are recruiting more units though. Come on, we just need one lucky engagement. It's kind of annoying, really. Yeah, absolutely. And we have, like, no manpower now. We're about to get two full regiments. 
Oddly enough, we can take the other province, not Kathmandu, right now. I think we, we can beat them with our two new regiments. Okay. Are you we serious? We made it! We made it! Are you Congratulations serious? on surviving <laughs> another episode, gentlemen. We're winning, sort of. How can we possibly be the end of the episode? That's crazy. It was 20 minutes. Anyway, see, see you in the next time. video. Bye, guys. Later.